All right, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life, GRC 54. So grab this chair because it's time to get serious. Talking about the uh, 14 Snap-on's 14.4 volt lineup. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so you guys follow me on Instagram at CasperTech54, CasperTech with a K. You guys know I've been messing around with these uh, 2.0 hour batteries. Um, at least the one I rebuilt, I got a couple batteries that, you know, stopped working pretty much. Went ahead and, you know, instead of throwing it out or, you know, warranty, obviously there's no warranty, pretty much snap on batteries once you have it for a month. I don't even know what the warranty is on a battery. I really don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment sections. But it was an old battery. I had it for a few years. It was actually a red one. They now make them in just black. Um, I mean, they're not big enough. These things, you know, I don't find myself using the Snap-on Impacts as much nowadays. You know, Milwaukee's pretty much got them beat. But, uh, you know, I do like to grab them. And when I grab them, you know, I like to be able to use the buffer or, you know, the CT761 and not have to worry about switching out batteries constantly when I am using them. So instead of throwing that battery out, you guys see I post a picture online, we upgraded a 2.0 amp hour battery to 2.5 and that's pretty much what Snap-on offers now. This is their answer for us. You know, we asked them to make bigger batteries and this was their answer. Turning a 2.0 hour battery into a 2.5 amp hour battery, milliamp, it's really 2,500 milliamp hours. So I got another battery. This one's a good battery, but I got another battery. I bought some used batteries off a guy that had some, basically, I, I think he just got rid of his 14.4 lineup because he's using Milwaukee now, which I don't blame him. But I was able to pick up a bunch of his old batteries on a good deal. Some were good, some were good. Um, rebuilt the one, worked great. You know, bumped it up from a 2.0 amp hour to a, a 2.5, and so far, so good. It charged fine and all that stuff. But uh, I want to get even bigger. I, I want to, you know, I want to bump it up even more. You guys know we like the mod things on the channel. You guys know I gotta like to take it to the extreme. So you guys seen in my Instagram post, I posted a few concept batteries, some stuff I've been working on, pondering in my head. You know, before I went ahead and start cutting up batteries and getting stuff, I wanted to see exactly how they build these. You know, what's inside them. You know, I know what's inside them for 18650 batteries, but you know how they ran them, things like that. But we're gonna dive down make a, uh, we're gonna go for a five amp hour battery this time. I got a bunch of 18650s I had picked up. We got six of them, uh, 2500 milliamp hour, so that would be 2.5 amp hour. Um, we're gonna get inside here and uh, make ourselves. hopefully it end up being probably about a five amp hour battery, but before we can do that, we gotta see what's inside the inner workings of these 14.4 batteries. Check it out. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try to run us through this. You know, if you guys are trying this at home, you know, just be careful. These uh, 18650 batteries are lithium. Um, you know, and mishandled or you, you know, they, they will explode. They're volatile batteries, and you got to be real careful working with them. We'll see what happens today. But you know, I, I did one upgrade with success, so we're gonna take it a step further. Um, basically, I want to crack this battery open. Talk about. You know, from what I what I've studied on these batteries, how they're made, um, they actually think these. Some people think these batteries are ran in series and in parallel. Um, but I, you know, between the four batteries, from what I see in it, they're just ran in series, and they're pretty much, you know, um, 3.7 volt batteries uh, ran in series, and that's going to give you, you know, your 7.4 or 7.2 that Snap-on calls their batteries. Because you guys got to think these batteries are good for the 7.2 volt and the 14 fours. So the way they make these things is they just have two batteries, separate rows of piece on each side. You can see this side and this side, and uh, they're just they're just ran in series. You got this side, you know, with your 7.2 or 7.4, you know, that would be, but they call it 7.2, and then you got this side that has 7.2. It's not parallel. They don't cross them together until you plug it into the gun. So these things aren't parallel ran or anything like that to bump up the milliamp per hour. They're basically just 7.2 on one side, 7.2 on the other side. Therefore, when you plug it in to the, to the, the tool, 
it then, you know, if it call if it's if it's a 14-4 battery, it calls for 14-4, you're gonna see prongs at the bottom here. You're gonna see two rows of them. If you got the older 721, you'll probably just see one row on one side. That's how you could use these batteries without frying a 7.2 volt gun. So let's open this thing up. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So they use a uh, a T8 at the bottom here. And I did open this one up. I, ha I have opened this one, but basically show you guys kind of how I did it without wrecking everything. Get the torque screws out. And basically they got it glued in. They got two batteries down here and then two batteries standing up vertical here. But basically what you'll want to do is kind of work this back and forth until you can kind of get pried up in there. And then you'll want to get a pick or a flat blade screwdriver you know, work from the center of the battery. Don't try going on the edge because, like I said, you could you could short these batteries out, and the thing gets hot fast. You know, it can blow up in your face, in your hand, start smoking real bad. Um, but basically, you just kind of work the top off so you get that pride off without tearing it up. And then, as far as the inside goes, you know, the first one I took apart, I ended up just taking these two batteries off, and then I worked the other two batteries out. But a trick I kind of you can do is just going through one of the prongs here. Let me grab. So I got this little electric tool right here and you could basically, you know, kind of work it back and forth because they got it glued on the sides and then, you know, without destroying the terminal, you know, kind of just press down on it, work it back and forth until it finally comes out. You'll get enough of it to where it comes out and that's basically what's inside here. So this one obviously has been out. Just want to show you guys how I took them apart without damaging everything. But my thought process here is I'm going to obviously replace this you know the only thing i need from this is obviously the casing some of the wiring i want the chip for the light indicator and then you know the terminals at the top so we're going to replace these four batteries that are pretty much 2000 amp hour milliamp hours to these 2.5 milliamp hour batteries but what we're going to do is since these are separated like i said and here i'll actually show you that these aren't actually 14.4 amp hour, or these ain't 14.4 volt batteries until they're plugged into the tool. So, you know, they're only ran in series separately. You know, one row here and one row here. These, this battery does not give out anything over, you know, whatever. If you got fully charged 18650s, maybe 8 volts. That's all you're going to get from this. So here, we'll put volts on. And you'll be able to see, you can see that screen here. I don't know if this is charged, but we got... This is, this is, so this side is charged 8.1 and then you go to this side and you got an 8.1. So basically there's no way that I'll get 14.4 with a multimeter until these things intersect and that'll give us our 14.4. And like I said, it's completely separated until you plug it into the tool. This is one side here. You can see it takes you know, uh, positive to negative and then positive to negative and that's one whole complete circuit from here to here and then also on this this one too you got negative to positive positive to negative and then back through the the chipboard the indicator but and that's only to give the the green light the amber light all that stuff so this battery is just ran in series there's no parallel here you know to, to bump up the runtime on it and you know they kind of probably should have did that but I know why they didn't is to protect those 7.2 volt tools it's kind of a genius idea if you think about it but what I plan on doing is obviously changing out these four batteries and adding two more batteries at the bottom here. That way we could run in parallel and bump up our run time. So I'll run these parallel to each other right at the bottom here and we'll have a six way battery here, you know, giving us the normal 2.5 that these batteries are going to have and then adding another 2.5 in parallel that should in theory bump us up to you know 5.0 amp hours so it almost double the capacity with obviously two extra batteries so we'll get this thing uh get everything broken down i'll show you what i got here what i'm working with what i've made what i plan on doing first we got to break this down and get these batteries out of here because we do need the chipboard this top portion here you know the bottom prongs and everything else until we add to it so I'll show you guys how to do that. Let's get this thing stripped down without destroying anything. Basically you just work these off. They're not necessarily soldered on there. 
pretty much stamped on there, riveted on there. So just pull it back a bit, pop it off each battery. You just want to be careful because these batteries are live. This is the side you'll want to be careful with because you not only have power on this side, but you also have the negative on this side too. So if you dig it in deep enough, you could catch both of them. So you just want to be real careful in this, the positive side of the battery. So that's two off of there. And then all I'll do is straighten these back out. Just like that, straighten them back out. And we're gonna take this bottom one off. I'm gonna start off by taking one side off here and putting it on another battery. So these batteries put to the side. Let's get this next one off. So what we're gonna do, as I'm taking it apart, I'm gonna start putting it back together too. I'm gonna hit them with a little sandpaper. So when you solder them, it's got something to grab onto. I guess you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to make sure it's a clean connection, all that. We'll tin these, tin the tops and bottom of those. in there, solder this piece right back to it. All right, so now that I got that side soldered, I'll pick off this other side. I like to keep the tape on there so I don't knock the battery out. Alright, we got the first two batteries in. Get this piece down into place. Want to make sure everything's lining up. Looks good. Make sure the batteries sit where they're supposed to sit. Get our wires back in place. Now here's the part where it looks like it's ran parallel, but it's really not because it's separate. Um, two more batteries. All right, guys. So from there, we pretty much got, we're back to where we started. Upgraded the batteries from the 2.0 to the 2.5 with better Samsung batteries. And now the upgrade from the upgrade is to add two more. And I'll show you guys what I'm working with here. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to run another row parallel. So the same, it's going to be the same direction. We're just going to be hooking up positive to positive, negative to negative at these lower row batteries and that'll be giving us more milliamp hours. It's not going to change the volts or anything like that. The batteries are still going to stay at the 7.4 or 7.2 um, you know because you figure 3.7 and 3.7 that would be 7.4 but it's considered 7.2 by snap-on so we're going to run these parallel another row just like that and then I'll show you how we're going to handle that in the case too. So, first of all, let's get this, let's get these sanded and tinned. You notice this Milwaukee soldering gun 
can't once it warms up can't handle any pressure tip starting to melt all right guys so I finally got it on but uh, looks like the Milwaukee is pretty much done ski all right guys so I decided to bail on the little aluminum pieces I made and just go with some uh, copper wire copper is probably uh, in my eyes better conductor anyways so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect it together using a piece of wire I was trying to go with a flat piece instead of something like this because I was trying to save space in the case but this should work out Got one piece there I left it a little long on this end so we could trim it back Trying to be easy on this Milwaukee soldering iron. Have to get that warranted. Got one down there. All right, guys. So I guess the fun part's over. Got everything soldered together. All six batteries. Use the wires. They look a little thick. I'm not sure if this is going to fit through my next step, but got an extra bottom here. I got an extra case. They actually sell these online. You can pick these things up online. They come with a sticker. Um, you know, another sticker for them. I don't know if you guys can see it over there, but it's stuck. And uh, you got replacement cases if you need them. So what I'm going to do is just cut the bottom section out of here to try to fit the batteries through because I need this middle section to fit both the batteries. So however you guys do that, I'm going to try to just drill it and then cut around the little box here. So I'll get back when I'm done. All right. So I've got the bottom cut out. Got the batteries ran through from the top. Two more sticking out of the bottom here. I'm going to take this case, pop that right at the bottom of there, and this thing's nice because it's got a nice rubber, you guys know these batteries got a nice rubberized texture to them, so it should make a nice seal. So there's the batteries in that, here's the top portion, and then what I did is just got some longer screws, little plastic, you know, longer uh, fill-up screws because we're not going to be able to use, reuse the torque ones because they're not long enough. Put these on there from the other batteries. Slide it back through. Squeeze it tight. screws in there there you go guys just got to switch out the clips with the old one here you got little roll pins in there that's it and then we'll check it. Should still be 7.4 volts or 8 volts because they're fully charged batteries. You guys see the screen there? 8.2, 8.19. Alright guys, so there you have it. Six 18650 batteries, got the clips in. Pretty much just pull those roll pins, like I said, get the clips off, there's little tiny springs. But there it is, works just fine. The light works. Definitely uh, be checking this one out, putting it through the ringer, comparing it to the 2.0 and the 2.5.
Because like I said, in theory, guys, the way they set Snap-on sets these things up is they just run them in series. They do not run any parallel batteries in here to up the milliamp per hour, per hour the amps per hour, and us adding, you know, a 2,500 milliamp per hour or two 2,500 milliamp per hour batteries, technically these should be a 5.0 amp hour battery now. So can't wait to test it, compare it to the you know, 2.0 and 2.5, check the charge time on it, how long it's gonna take to charge, if it overheats or not. But there it is, the concept. This will be my new battery for now. We'll see how it goes, maybe I'll make some more, but uh, that actually even looks better. Definitely uh, a little heavier now, but sounds the same. Doesn't smell like it's burning or anything like that. There it is. Be uh, cracking those fasteners loose. Less time changing the batteries out. Maybe get about make about five of these. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Or maybe uh, do this in a giveaway. Tell you what, you guys uh, want to win this one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Leave a comment. Because you never know. This might be up and coming. Might be doing this one on a giveaway. The next one on the list. Let's do another stack. We're gonna go even bigger this one. And then you think another, maybe we should just get bigger 18650 batteries, you know, bigger uh, milliamps per hour. I know they make uh, 5,000 milliamp per hour, you know, but I don't really trust some of those brand batteries. Samsung I know makes really good batteries because I use them in my mod. So, but wrap this one up guys. Fun little project for you guys to check out. You guys be careful with those 18650 batteries though. You know, they are volatile, they are explosive batteries. You guys be careful, know what you're doing, but get out there, beef up these batteries. Snap on, if you're watching, I'll be expecting this, uh, I'll be expecting you guys to make these batteries at least uh, second quarter next year. Let's go, get these batteries bigger. But as always guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.